Morning Virgo, welcome to your general weekly reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. We're going to go for a nice fast read this morning. Let's get straight into it. Let's see how we get on. Uh, we have the Eight of Cups, the Emperor, nice to see that. The Ten of Pentacles, Three Cups, and the Sun card. Wow, best card of the best reading of the of this series, and I'm on uh 11 of 12 virgo you've done it again really do knock it out of the park now and again don't you um five of wands energy on the bottom could be arrival in love could be some new kid on the block that's that's muddying the waters or 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 a certain amount of friction frisson but again i, I would treat that positively and go oh challenge accepted yeah so don't don't lose your power don't give your power away don't feel intimidated by someone else just treat it as a uh, an exercise and a chance to show who you really are and move on so the first card we've got the eight of cups which is I, I don't really like this card there's too much color in it compared to the others the others are very black i mean that's why i bought this deck uh when your surname's black you might as well buy a black tarot deck anyway um so we've got this sort of um nest so the octopus is leaving its nest I'm not sure if you can see there's all eyes in the in the ocean there. Terrifying time, but he knows he can't stay in the nest any longer because he'll starve to death. You know, the, you, the, the child must leave the mother and go off into the big wide world. So what this card talks about is where you are now or the situation you're in at the moment serves you no longer. It's it's time to move on. Not in a bad way, not in a negative way. No one has to be hurt over this. You just go, do you know what? Could be a relationship and you could be going, do you know what? This isn't working out. You work nights, I work days. We just don't see each other. You love working nights, I love working days. It's never going to work. Or, you know, you're in Italy, I'm in the UK. You know, we love each other's bits, but we can't make it work. So that's that. You're just moving away. You're not and, and not in any... It's not a sad card. It's not a happy card. It's, it's, it's just a rational card. You know, this is... This situation, work, life, whatever. You know, there's a new person coming in. Um, maybe they're after your job and you might just go oh, fine have the job you know try and take it off me if you still want it or do you know what I'm going to go on LinkedIn and get another job a better job so and it's it's a real it's a really rational cold light of day card this one there's no emotion attached to this <clears throat> which is really powerful by the way when you take emotion out of a situation I often say to people rather than thinking of yourself which can be quite inflammatory you know I don't like her if you just went well take step that outside and go there's a, a person at work called Beryl and there's a person at work called Eva and you know they don't get on because so as soon as you take yourself out of it you're able to be really rational and, and just talk about the problem rather than the person <clears throat> so that's what this card talks about the Emperor's your present expectation so your present expectation is you need to be in control and, and ordered and you know making a list and checking it twice and being very stoic and it's a great powerful energy and the emperor is the al amalgamation of all four kings so you've got the the wealth and abundance and status and understanding and emotional maturity so you're in a great place to do that so that's fine what's unexpected is how successful whatever this situation is is going to be so you moving away from something cold calmly rationally because you know, it's time to just result in great success. This is generational wealth and stability. In a normal rider weight deck, it is the inside of the castle. A castle appears a lot in a normal rider weight deck, and it's your um, uh, super dream or your ultimate goal. And it's always just out of reach, and you get closer and closer. You can see it on the hill, and and it's just a reminder. Taro's going. Dream big, and then aim for it, and see how far you get. You know. <coughs> Um, this card in a Rider Waite deck, you're inside the castle walls, you've succeeded. So this is an unexpected success. You're going to succeed or whatever it is you're planning. Short-term future is, after that unexpected success, there's a celebration. And there's real celebration here. This is celebrating, not alone, this is celebrating. And other people being really happy for you. It's a joyful celebration. It, it's normally um, three women dancing around with, with goblets of wine. And the, the looks on their faces, they're just really pleased for you. 
you know, sometimes people go, ah, oh, we've promoted Dave and, and no one claps. Or they go, I've promoted Dave and people whoop and cheer and go, amazing, well done, Dave. That's that energy there. People are really pleased for you this week, Virgo, really pleased. And then your long-term future. I mean, we could have stopped the reading. I, I, it's the first time I've managed to draw this card and not talk about how great a reading you've got. But basically, the Sun card is the best card in the deck, without doubt. You know, every tarot book, every tarot reader will tell you the sun is the best card in the deck. It's it's abundant, confident, radiating, happy, joyful, pleasant. It, it's everything you possibly want. It's just a great, great card to get in that position. So, yeah, in the near future, and again, on a weekly read, short-term future, long-term future, I don't know, the next one, two, three weeks maybe, I do like as well that I'm I'm not dating these anymore. They they obviously come out on a Wednesday and I kind of read them for the following, you know, Sunday or Monday for a week. But it's up to you. If someone sometimes I get really drawn to a tarot reading that's six, eight, nine months old and I just go and play it and go, Oh, that's interesting. That's it, I was supposed to be there. I was supposed to click on that link. Okay, uh three of pentacles. So you've got three of cups, three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is um, normally in a traditional Rider weight deck, it is the architect, the monk and the builder and they're building a cathedral. So the idea is this person wants this, this person is harvesting this for them and this person is growing more of these things. So you're all working together for the greater good. Really nice energy. So yeah, cold light of day, you're moving away because <clears throat> there's something better, there's something better on the horizon, more rewarding yeah, definitely. Um, ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. So with this unexpected thing, you're not expecting this to go as well as it does. Um, I don't know whether this is a love reading or a work reading. It feels a bit more worky to me because there's there's definitely some kind of... The celebrations are more... I don't know, they just feel more work-like. So this Ten of Cups is obviously the happy family home. You know, it's a rainbow of cups above the head. They're just really happy, tender about completion. You've got the Ten of Pentacles there as well. So the Ten of Cups, just a fantastic card to get anywhere in a reading. Really happy, joyful energy, celebratory energy. Uh, unexpected, yeah, you're not expecting it to go as well as it does. And you're really not expecting it to go as well as it does. You've got the Fool there. The Fool is all or nothing. Just jump in with both feet, see where you land. Um, I don't like the fact that this looks like she's looking into the past. I would prefer it that she was looking into the future. Uh, but that's just me. But basically, yeah, <clears throat> she is ready to jump off a cliff with complete abandon and just see where the journey takes, see where the adventure goes. Love to see that card. And yeah, by doing all of this, by moving away because you've had enough and and other people going, yeah, this is... I, I get the feeling you're going to leave a situation and another situation is going to be offered to you really quickly, which is going to be really successful. It's going to be unexpectedly successful. You're like, wow, I wasn't expecting this to work out so well. And that leads to the death card. Death is just about change. Nothing more than that. There's a big change coming. Yeah. Look at all those ideas that you're releasing as well. You've got this whole kind of surge of, yeah, this is what I want to do. Could be in a, could be a relationship, by the way. And I'm not saying it's not a romantic read. Um, but there's there's a real sense of leave where you are now. It works out better than expected. It works out way better than expected. And that re that that makes this big change happen. And to go from the Death card to the Sun card, just fantastic. Really, really good. Uh, Ace of Pentacles on top of that. Kind of considered certainly a top five in a deck. Um, so you've got some really nice cards here. The Ace of Pentacles is a new start. You have achieved so much. This, this doesn't feel like a first-time job or a first-time relationship. This feels like you've done this before. You know it's time to move on. It's successful, successful, successful. It really is. And it's of your own doing as well. The Ace of Pentacles is a real kind of roll your sleeves up and get on with it. Two of Wands down at the bottom there. You've got the world in your hands. Um, so, yeah, just, you know, you create your own future. You drive your own future forward. People are always a bit, woe is me. It's like, no, you're letting things happen to you. If you, if you take the reins and drive this forward this week, you're just in a fantastic position with a fantastic outcome. Really, really good. I'd love to see that. You've achieved so much. You're ready to achieve so much more. Go for it. And I will see you next week, Virgo. Take care.